Avifauna. A-V-I-F-A-U-N-A. Preparations are underway for this year's Scripps National Spelling Bee. I am a very competitive person by nature, and I always want to win. Like, that's not going to stop. That's Drew Clawson from Independence. When the 13-year-old competes, he'll be going up against more than 200 spellers across the country. Three other spellers from the Metro include 13-year-old Garrett Lee, who got into the bee for fun. I wasn't actually going for, like, the spelling bee. I was just doing it, trying to do my best, and then I just ended up at the Nationals. There is some pressure. His hometown of Olathe is home to two past spelling bee champs, the Shivashankar sisters. Integument. Integument. I-N-T-E-G-U-M. E-N-T, integument. Meanwhile, Iman Arshad from Park Hill feels the pressure of change to this year's competition. For the first time ever, it will be a hybrid of virtual and in person. The 14-year-old prefers tradition. And it just makes me like feel more confident in person, whereas to online, I'm just doing it on my desk and I feel a little less confident and I'm a little more worried about what's going to happen. Copious. Copious. C-O-P-I-O-U-S. Chillier's Mac Northcraft is relying on a strategy for success. Yeah, sometimes you just memorize the words, and then sometimes you know, like, different parts of a word, like, are spelled that way because you've just heard them before, or they're from, like, a different language of origin. Whatever the strategy, each one of these young people hopes it leads to V-I-C-T-O-R-Y. Reporting, I'm Bryant Medrick, 41 Action News.